Hey, uh, how are you guys? This is Tyler with Easy Agent Pro. Today we're going to be diving into uh, Google Webmasters. It's a thing that most agents I don't really think knows exists. I published a case study late last week of us getting on the first page of Google in about 24 hours. It was actually kind of just in an afternoon. Uh, just published something, got on that first page. And, and, I, and I sort of glossed over a little bit what I did in Google Webmasters. So today I'm going to be just diving tactic by tactic what you can do to use Google Webmasters um, to be successful with your real estate website to really make sure that it is uh, optimized so that you can really get on that first page a lot faster. I'm going to show you some some proof of, of what we did and why we had to take it down so we didn't get in trouble with the California Real Estate Board for pretending to be brokers when we're not just ranking a website on Google. Um, so basically what we're going to be doing is is optimizing your site in Google Webmasters through verifying it and then submitting uh, just our, our special lead site sitemap and then doing some really specific sort of URL submitting directly. Uh, it's it's really great for us at Easy Agent Pro as as our company, and then on our demo site, obviously it worked great. Uh, we set this up and had great success with it, uh, getting on the first page in a really short period of time. So if you're sitting there uh, looking for ways to get more leads, or you know you want to rank on the first page for a certain keyword, so when you're doing a seller's appointment, um, and it's you versus the guy that you know almost always wins, and you really want to edge them out this time. This is a great tactic because then you can, on your phone or on your tablet, whatever you're doing that seller presentation with, you can bring up your site and say, hey, I get more visitors from Google and that helps me sell my properties faster, better, smarter, whatever angle you want to take with that, whatever you feel comfortable with. But it really can help you start edging out that competition. And those people that you just see on the first page, you know who they are, you know what the keywords are, you know what the things that you're typing in, that your clients are typing in and seeing those other people's sites. You know, that's that's tough to compete against or talk around in a day and age where everyone can just pick up their, their smartphone and literally the default browser is Google, right? It's really hard to sell around if you're not there. So uh, we're gonna dive in, sort of do a deep dive, head over to my computer um, and just show you the things that can prevent you from, you know, getting Google penalties, the things that can help you get on the first page and stop losing out on those clients or even add another dimension to to the way that you sell real estate, get leads and all of that. Um, so we're gonna head over there, check out this thing called Google Webmaster. It's 100% free. Uh, if you don't have it set up, your competition probably does. So uh, I'll show you exactly how to get that set up and what I did to get the results I was talking about before. So uh, let's hop over to my computer. All right, everyone, we're over here at my computer, just gonna dive into this Google Webmasters thing. Uh, basically, what we're doing is, is connecting your site to the thing that connects directly to Google's ranking tool. So as you can see, I'm at google.com slash webmasters. You can get there by Googling it. <laughs> a lot of Google in that sentence. Um, but basically, they're here to help you be found on the web, which is really what you want to do in order to be successful uh, in real estate, right? If, if you're trying to get more leads, if you're trying to impress clients, if you're trying to overcome the competition, trying not to you know, lose out to all the all the competitors. I mean, like even even competing against Zillow, Trulia, Realtor.com, all those people are competitors in the online environment. Uh, you're really even, you know, largely competing against people in your office too. And so th this is one tool that you can use to overcome all that competition and make sure that you aren't, you know, punished by clients when, you know, when you're in those listing appointments and someone else brings this up that they're they're getting results with this and um, and you aren't. So, um, so yeah, let's get into it a little bit. Uh, first thing you're going to do is sign in. You, you use the same login that you use for Gmail. Um, I'm already signed in over here. And the first thing you're going to be prompted to do is verify that you own your site. Google just wants to know that you are the owner of their site, right? And this just makes a lot of sense, right? Like, you don't want someone claiming your website who doesn't own it. So um, as you can see, I'm already verified it, but they're going to ask you to verify this in, in four to five different ways. The easiest way is probably this thing called domain provider. Uh, the first thing you can do is follow these instructions. You can do it that way. Uh, one of the easiest ways if you have a lead site, you'll see I already did this, um, this HTML tag here. Uh, you see this really funky looking thing. What you can do is you can just copy this thing. You see I selected it. 
uh, copy. There we go. I'm going to head over to my lead site, which we've got right here. I'm uh, just going to click the dashboard. And this is super easy. Um, like You'll see like there were 20 steps for that thing with GoDaddy. Super complicated stuff. Um, I don't even know if I could do it. But you could click on the pixels thing here, and you're going to scroll down. And uh, you can either put this in the wildcard section, or what you can do is you can put it in the find me section. It doesn't matter where you put it. Uh, it just matters that you put it somewhere. So uh, you can go put that, you know, right here. You'll see I already have it right here. I've uh, got it copied, so I can just click here and go paste. Um, there it is, and I'm going to click save. You're going to want to make sure it's exactly the same way. Um, and then what you can do is you can click verify. As you can see, I've already verified it. So that's the easiest way to verify your site with Google. It's going to prevent you from not getting ranked and and sort of everything else there. So HTML tag, just copy paste this thing um, right here, and it takes care of it. If you read the this example, right, this looks super complicated. Basically, your lead site does this for you automatically for you know just built in. Um, so just you can put that right here. If you have it verified, don't worry about any of this stuff. So if it's saying you're already a verified owner, you're good to go. Um, you can just click uh, and, and get back to the main search console. So you'll see right here, um, back at the main search console, uh, this is this is what we want to be doing. You can see I'm getting some traffic from Google to our demo site, which is which is kind of a little ridiculous, guys. Just to point that out here, like our demo site is literally literally it has red font on it that says this is not a real website. It's it's demo. Let me go show you a copy of that quick. Um, but it, it's kind of crazy that uh, with these tactics, we're able to generate search engine results with with demo IDX data and just some copy paste text from from some Wikipedia sites. Um, and you know, this YouTube video is not ours either. Um, that's perfectly legal, right? You can see it says pending, not for public use. Um, so, so yeah, so that's a thing. Um, but anyway, we're going down here. So you've got the site verified. So now, now the question is what now? You've got this really complicated, this like just ton of stuff going on. Um, so the first thing you're gonna want to do is just make sure your site map's in here. So you're gonna go to crawl and then site maps. And this is just gonna make sure Google knows what the heck is on your website, right? Um, so there, there's really easy, if you got the Find Me app by Easy Edge and Pro, just go to your dashboard here, um, apps, and then Find Me. It's kind of gray with a nice search uh, goggle. I guess it's a magnifying glass. I'm gonna come down here, and you see here's the Google sitemap link, all right? All you need is this little, little bit right there, so I'm just gonna copy that. So you head back over to the sitemap thing. Let me refresh it here. Uh, you're going to click add sitemap and paste that in here. Uh, then you just click submit and there you go. You can refresh the page. Um, they'll show you the date. Today is the, yep, the 30th. So you'll see processed on the 30th. Um, then they're going to show you a red box and a blue box. Blue box is how many URLs you've submitted. Red box is how many they've put into the Google index. Google index is just a fancy way of saying like the table of contents of Google. If they've got the page on it, then you're good to go. Um, so, so that's what we've got there. Uh, so basically, that's that's item number one, and and so this is this may seem very very trivial, but basically Google is going to punish your site if you don't have this in here and set up properly because you're making it harder for Google to figure out what the heck all the pages on your site are, right? That's why we give you two site maps built in. Um, let me load them up here and show you exactly what they look like, uh, just because they help Google show more pages on your website. So the first one's for humans, um, and the second one is just your nice sitemap here. Um, so we've got that set up. What it does is it sends Google, let me find a great example here. Um, I've got so many Auburn examples, this is crazy. I'll go to Auburn Homes for Sale. So basically what we're telling Google is I have this URL called Auburn Homes for Sale, right? And when you scroll down on it, you're showing Google like, 
20 other listing pages and you're linking to it with the address, right? So what's going to happen is you're showing Google that this page, Auburn Homes for Sale is important, and I'm linking to this address, which is going to help you show up when people start Googling that address. And you may be like, Tyler, why does it matter if I show up on Google for an address search? And, and the key here is that address searches are the best searches to show up for because people who are really, really optimistic about buying and selling that house, when they get close and down the line, they're starting to Google that address and so if you're the person whose site they keep finding and finding and finding when they start searching that it's a really good thing so okay that's that set up now we've got all that set up we're good to go the next thing we're going to click is fetch as google you'll notice it's right here two slots above the site map really important stuff here um, what you're going to want to do is every time you publish a page on your website you're going to want to copy that url so i just copy that URL for the horse page I published. You're going to paste it over here. Notice what I did there. I deleted that because it's already there. And I'm going to fetch it as Google. That instantly gets Google fetching that page. And then remember what I talked about earlier about that table of contents, that index that Google has. You're going to submit it directly to Google. Confirm that you're not a robot. Obviously, robots don't make videos like this, so not a robot. And click go. You're good to go. That's how we're getting our sites to show up on Google faster. Um, that's what the Find Me app does. That's what Insta, you'll notice all these are Insta farms. They're optimized for Google. Super cool stuff people um, so that that's how we're setting this up for Google so that your listings show up better so that your insta farm show up better and how you can use Google webmasters to really outrank everyone get more sellers get more buyers and get more traction in your marketplace all right so that's that's all I wanted to cover today um, shoot in more questions about this topic it's really sort of taken off more than I thought it would um, but it is super important for you all to understand uh, so that's step by step how to do this I'm Tyler with Easy Agent Pro. I'll talk with you next time.